sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to Christ the King will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel reading today depicts the Lord Jesus doing His private or public ministry in favor of different people. In our Gospel today, it describes Him as a herald. It describes Him as a teacher. It also describes Jesus as a healer. At the same time, towards the end of the Gospel, Jesus says, the harvest is great, the workers are few. We will pray for more workers to do the harvesting for the Lord and for the church. This morning, we will also offer our Mass for those soldiers who died during the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday. This is our special Mass for them for those who perished, not only the soldiers, but also the civilians who died, as well as those who were seriously injured. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant perpetual mercy to your departed servants, the soldiers and civilians who perished in the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday. We pray, O Lord, that the hope and faith they had in you may benefit them for all eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maid servants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, What is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contented with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Peniel, 
Because I have seen God face to face, he said, yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Penuel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. That is why to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket, inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. From you, let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned. They were like sheep without a shepherd. And then he said to the disciples, The harvest is abundant. The laborers are few. Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers to do the harvesting. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Mass this morning, as I have said, is dedicated to our soldiers. I'm sure many of them, if not all, are young 
who perished in the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday. This is the only thing that we can offer to them, our gratitude and our prayers. I'd like to speak about the threefold activity which is the essence of the life of Jesus. What do I mean by the threefold activity that describes the life and mission of the Lord? Number one, Jesus is a herald. Number two, Jesus is a teacher. And number three, Jesus is a healer. Allow me to say a few words about each one of this, the threefold activity that will capture the real essence of the public ministry of the Lord. Number one, Jesus is herald. Who is a herald? What is a herald? The herald is the one who brings a message from the king. Jesus is the one who brought a message from God. The duty of the herald is to proclaim certainties, preaching, like what I am doing today, must always be the proclamation of certainties. Whether we admit it or not, today we live in an age of uncertainty. An age when people have ceased to be sure of anything. Jesus is the herald from God who came proclaiming the certainty by which people live and the certainty that God still cares. Number two, Jesus is teacher. It is not enough to proclaim the Christian certainties and to let it go at that. We must also be able to show the significance of the certainties for life and for living. The importance and the problem of this lie in the fact that we teach Christianity, not by talking about it, but by leaving it, by putting it into practice. It is not the Christian's duty to discuss Christianity with others. It is a Christian's duty to give witness to what Christianity teaches. And in this sense, Jesus is a teacher and we are also challenged to become like teachers number three jesus is also a healer the gospel that jesus brought did not stop at words the gospel that jesus brought was translated into action the gospel shows that jesus he spent more time healing the sick, feeding the hungry, the mute can talk again, the deaf can hear again, the blind can see again, the paralyzed can walk again, the hungry can eat, and he comforts the sorrowing, and he did many other things to show that Jesus is basically a healer. He turned the words of Christian truth into deeds of Christian charity. Similarly, we are not truly Christian until our Christian faith results in Christian action. This, my dear friends, consists of the threefold activity of the Lord during his public ministry. Jesus is herald, Jesus is teacher, and Jesus is 
healer. I would also like to say something about the last two or three sentences in the gospel reading for today. When the Lord said to the disciples, The harvest is abundant. The workers are few. Ask the master of the harvest to send out workers for his harvest. In our mass today, we will also pray for an increase of vocation to the priesthood and to the religious missionary life of the church. Our Lord continues to call men and women. Our Lord needs men and women in order to assist Him. When He was upon this earth, the voice of Jesus could reach only few. Our Lord was never outside Palestine, but there was a world that was waiting. Our Lord wants that other people hear the good news of the gospel, but they will never hear unless there are people who will tell them. Our Lord wants all people to hear the good news, but they will never hear it unless there are those who are prepared to cross the seas and mountains and bring the good news to all creation. My dear friends, at this point, allow me to invite young men and women to respond to the invitation of the Lord to the priesthood and to the religious missionary life. When I was younger, many years ago, I felt the same attraction to the priesthood and to the religious missionary life. To make the long story short, because I am not supposed to preach about myself, I just would like to say that I entered, I joined the SVD in 19... Never mind. In 1977. I pronounced my first vows in 1979. My perpetual vows in 1985. And my ordination also in 1985. Come to think of it, for many years, for hundreds of years, the Philippines has been a recipient of missionaries coming from other countries, coming from Europe, coming from America, coming from other destinations or other places in the world, from being a missionary, from being a recipient church, we have now become a sending church. And this is related to the theme of 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. We are now challenged because we are gifted to give. For your information, the SVD to which I belong and that administers Christ the King Mission Seminary, we have produced more than 500 Filipino SVDs since the SVD came to the Philippines in 1909. The Philippine SVD has sent almost 200 of these Filipino missionaries in different parts of the world, in all the continents. They are in Africa. They are in Americas. They are in Europe. They are in Asia. They are in Australia and Oceania. These are the divine word missionaries preaching the gospel in all, in all the world. Preaching the gospel where the gospel has not been fully preached yet. But we need young men to respond to the same call of Christ. We also need your prayers for these young men, especially those who are still under formation. For them to continue to be generous, 
to the invitation of the Lord to offer themselves in the service of the church. And you must have noticed that during the past months, I have always been appealing for financial help for our seminarians because this is part of our need to train young men to become divine word missionary priests, brothers, in the future. We need your financial support. We need your financial help so that we can continue to train them and form them to become the men that Christ want them to be. I remember St. Paul who said it beautifully in his letter to the Romans. But how can they call to God for help if they have not believed? How can the people believe if they have not heard the message? How can they hear if the message is not proclaimed? And how can the message be proclaimed if the messengers are not sent? How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, of those who bring glad tidings of good things. My dear friends, in our Mass today, we will not only pray for our soldiers who perished in that plane crash in Sulu last Sunday. We will also pray for more generous and happy young men to respond to the invitation of Christ to become divine word missionaries. We need your prayers and we need your financial support. Amen. Let us all stand. Through the priesthood of the new covenant, God brings the reconciling ministry of His Son to us. Let us approach the Lord of the harvest as we pray, Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest that more men may be called to serve God's people as priests, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that nations close to the gospel may be prepared and become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that those who work as priests, nuns, religious brothers, catechists, and lay apostles may inspire others to join them, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that we may encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in our community, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. For the most vulnerable in the population, our senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, the unemployed and the poor, that they may remain resolute in their belief that God will protect them from illness and help them during these trying times, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. That the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to glory, we pray. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord send, send out, out laborers your, to your, your harvest. harvest. Lord of the harvest, through our humble prayers, gather together your, your people, grant us more workers in your mission, and hasten the coming of the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. In this sacrifice, O Lord, your Son, though innocent, was slain for us and took away all the sins of the world. Grant, we pray, that it may set your servants free. Those who perished in the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday, from every failing of the human condition, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, remember your servants, those soldiers and civilians who died in the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday, 
Remember also Santiago Baroa, Romvic de la Cuesta, Mary Howe Tecneo, Mario Quinto, Felicidad Malyari, and Sister Mary Leia Pink Sisters, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles, the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us also pray for the speedy recovery of Pope Francis, the Holy Father, who underwent surgery in Rome a few days ago. Our Father, who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joyful hope, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said, Lord, to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each one with a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, of the world grant us peace. The Lord said to the disciples, The harvest is great, the workers are few. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lord of the harvest. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to His banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God, who 
lahat ng mga butil na tinitipon upang maging tinapay na nagbibigay buhay kami naway matipon din at maging bayan mong giliw iisang Panginoon iisang katawan isang bayan isang lahi sa'yo'y nagpupukay katulad din ang mga ubas na piniga at naging alam sino mang uminom nito may buhay na walang Ay maging sangkap sa pagbuo nitong bayang liyag. Iisang Panginoon, iisang katawan, isang bayan, isang lahi. Sa'yo'y nagpupugay Iisang Panginoon Iisang katawan Isang bayan, isang lahi Sa'yo'y nagpupugay Let us pray. Hear, O God, your children, nourished now by the sacrament of salvation, and as through the Holy Spirit, you raise Christ, your only begotten Son, from the dead. So grant to your faithful servants the soldiers and civilians who died during the plane crash in Sulu last Sunday, the joy of life and immortality, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque, pray, for, pray us. for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz, pray for us. Please be seated for an announcement. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at sa mga nasa ibang bansa. Magandang hapon, magandang gabi. At binabati ko lalong-lalo na yung mga patuloy na nagpapadala ng kanilang tulong sa atin dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary para sa pag-aaral ng ating mga seminarista sa kanilang pagpapari. We would like on behalf of our rector and on behalf of the SVDs here at Christ the King Seminary We would like, I would like to personally thank you for the tremendous and generous help that you have been sending to us uh, for the support of our seminarians in their studies. But of course, it's never enough. We need more generous benefactors and donors to help us support the financial necessities on behalf of our seminarians. Let me share with you the stages the stages of formation of an SVD seminarian from the beginning until the end the road to the priesthood the road to the altar is long and not easy the road to the altar is challenging but beautiful the SVD stages of formation includes the following A seminarian enters Christ the King Seminary here in Quezon City He will study and stay here for four years Where he will get, he hopes to get or acquire a degree in philosophy The seminarian for the first stage of formation Stays in Christ the King here for four years of philosophy After four years of philosophy in Christ the King, the seminarian goes to Tagaytay for one year of postulancy. After one year of postulancy, he goes to Calapan in Oriental Mindoro for one year of novitiate. After one year of novitiate, he goes back to Tagaytay at the Divine Word Seminary for four years of Theology. Four plus one plus one plus four equals ten. Plus one or two years of regency in which the seminarian is assigned to an SVD station to get a feel of missionary work. The seminarian who joins the SVD will only pay while he is in Christ the King. In other words, when he goes to Tagaytay, For the postulancy and to Mindoro for the novitiate and again to Tagaytay for the theology studies, he does not have to pay anymore. But in Christ the King, he has to pay because he is not yet a temporary member of the SVD. How much does he pay? Please email me through the email address that we are flashing on your screen ckms donor care at gmail.com ckms donor care at gmail.com I respond to email sometimes in one day or two days or three days but I will I will respond another way of helping us or sending your help to us is by sending it directly to our bank account which we are also flashing in front of your screen in front of you on the screen the bank details are banco de oro account name divine word mission seminary inc account number 
1-9-1-2-4-7. Another possibility, another, another material or instrument that you can use in sending your donation to Christ the King is, for the seminarians, is our, are our two Gcash numbers. One is under my name, it's being flashed in front of you, and the other is under the name of our rector, Father Tagura. So any of this, Father Punsalan, Father Tagura, you can, you can send your donation via Gcash or via BDO, uh, Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. account with the right account number. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ang inyong tulong ay mapapalitan at masusuklian ng Diyos sa kanyang tanging pamamaraan. And we promise to pray for your intentions. We promise to include you in our mass intentions. We promise to pray for you and your families as we partner together in forming future SVD missionaries and priests. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong. Magsitayo ang lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Through all eternity